study what is the meaning of selective precipitation. It has another name that is called as a fractional precipitation. So what is the meaning of selective precipitation? It is a phenomenon in, that involves the precipitation of sparingly soluble species one by one on addition of precipitating agent in a solution of two or more soluble compounds. What is the principle? Principle is very important in qualitative and, and quantitative aspects of chemistry. Chemistry. So actually, we use this principle in these two analysis of chemistry. So let us see. Uh, this is a one vessel which containing the solution of calcium chloride and barium chloride. And again, we are adding one precipitating agent that is the silver sodium sulfate slowly and slowly. So when you add this concentration of sodium sulfate in the solution, what will happen? Calcium chloride and barium chloride, they will react with the sodium sulfate. And they will form calcium sulfate and barium sulfate respectively. And these two salts are sparingly soluble salts. And we know the case of these two values. Now in this solution, if you add sulphate continuously, this is the precipitating agent. So on adding, what will happen? The concentration of sulphate will increase. So we will then and concentration of barium sulphate and calcium will subsequently decrease. So if you uh, multiply the concentration of barium and sulphate, the Ksp value will be same. The value of Ksp will be lower. Lower means uh, the which whichever the whichever the following means the lower the value of Ksp will precipitate the first. So this is the basic principle behind this process to find the solubility of these two ions. Let us see, understand through the example. So this is the numerical number one example. Solve numerical one. So this is the one vessel which consists two ions that is the barium ion and strontium ion whose concentration is given 0.1 molarity and 0.1 molarity and this is the precipitating agent that is the K2CrO4 potassium chromate. So what will happen? Definitely this will react with the barium and strontium and they will produce the chromate simultaneously. This is the barium chromate, this is strontium chromate. Ksp value is given, you can see 10 to minus 10 and for strontium chromate, this is given 3.5 into 10, 10 to the power minus 5. So concentration of chromate which is required to precipitate barium chromate. So we can take the value of Ksp by barium. So barium is given 0.1 molarity. So from here we can find the chromate is this much. Similarly, uh, this uh, uh, chromate required to precipitate a strontium chromate. So, Ksp by strontium ion, strontium ion is given 0.1 molarity. So, we will get the value of this much. So, for a strontium chromate, the chromate concentration is this much, and for uh, barium chromate, concentration required this much. So, out of two, if you compare it, this is, ten, this is a 10 to the power minus 9, this is a 10 to the power minus 4. So, this value is lower. Lower means this will precipitate the first. Now, when chromate is this much concentration with maximum value, means this much is there. Then barium chromate will, will start to precipitate with maximum value. If you take the chromate consider this much, if you take the chromate consider this much, instead of this much, you take the maximum value. Then what will happen? Then maximum amount of potassium chromate required to precipitate the barium chromate stage, concentration of strontium uh, chromate also start precipitating in the solution. Then how much barium will be left in the solution? So this divided by this equal to this much concentration. So this much concentration of barium will be left in the solution. Initial by 0.1 molarity, already I have given you. Initial by how much? 0.1 molarity. So 0.1 molarity is already given here. So now it becomes this much. So how much percent of barium left? So percent of barium left will be this divided by 0.1 into 100. So this is the answer. So in this way we can solve the concentration of chromate uh, strontium a percentage of chromium also and if, if this percent nothing but the 0 0.034 percent means it is almost all amount of barium has been precipitated in the solution 0 0.01 mole of silver nitrate is added to one liter of a solution which is 0 0.1 molarity in sodium chromate and 0 0.005 molarity in silver sodium iodide so calculate the mole of precipitate form at equilibrium. So Ksp of uh, this silver chromate is given this much 10 to minus 8 and Ksp of silver iodide is given 10 to minus 13. So out of these two cases we can see that uh, uh, Ksp of this silver iodide is lesser. That's why its solubility will be uh, lesser than this one. So now this silver nitrate on uh, reacting with these two solutions that is the sodium iodide and sodium chromate. So let us see this is the solution. In which three components are given silver nitrate, sodium iodide, and sodium chromate is given here. 
the silver nitrate is a strong salt so they will react with this and these two other salts so it is reacting like this one see here silver nitrate is reacting this one so it will give you silver iodide and sodium nitrate and again silver nitrate is reacting with the sodium chromate giving these two uh, salt respectively so again out of these two salts solubility of silver iodide is lesser one so sodium first will react with this one silver will first react with this one why because the ksp value is lesser one so what will happen so this will react with uh, concentration this is uh, sodium iodide is 0 0.05 molarity 0 0.05 so it will give you 0 0.05 0 0.05 and this is left when so remaining uh, silver nitrate react with the next sodium chromate so on the this is the nothing but the 0.1 molarity so it will give you uh, 0.025 why 25 because this is the one mole so one silver and this is the ag2 so we have to divide by 0 0.05 by 2 so it becomes your 0 0.025 and this will be your 0 0.005 so 0 0.1 minus 0 0.005 it will give you 0 0.975 this is the sodium chromate left in the solution now uh, we know the concentration of silver this is silver that is nothing there all is converted into iodate and silver chromate so concentration of silver needed is how much for iodate and chromate so for silver iodate uh, concentration of iodide is given 0 0.05 this is already given in the solution so concentration of silver required is uh, 2 into 10 power minus 5, third, 11 and similarly in case of silver chromate we can see so it will be a uh, silver needed will be your 10 power minus 8 divided by 0 0.1 already given in the solution for chromate so we can see 3.14 into 10 power minus 4 so this is solvent is more the solvent is less so this will precipitate first so when you use this one concentration so uh, chromate left ion solution is 0 0.0975 so solution has silver iodide silver chromate and the three uh, left behind component that is uh, this this and this uh, sodium nitrate and chromate and iodide so one two three this is also is there one two three four will be left behind the solution so three i have written here four is also there so this matter is also there 0 0.05 0 0.025 and 0 0.0475 so how much silver left in the solution so ksp of silver chromate divided by cro4 so the concentration this is given here 0 0.475 i think it is a, we are 975 so this divided by 0 0.975 you will get this concentration and concentration added left is uh, ksp of silver added divided by concentration of silver so this is a ksp divided by concentration of silver this is 3.2 into power minus 4 so already we found it here this is the concentration of silver from which obtained from the this one so this is already left by that is, that is the 3.1 into 10 power minus 2 so this is here this is the concentration of silver left and from which added will react so this divided by this will equal to this more concentration so this is the way of solving problem the solubility of calcium carbonate is 7 milligram per liter calculate the solubility product of barium carbonate uh, from this information and uh, from the fact that when sodium carbonate is added slowly to the solution containing equimolar concentration of calcium and barium concentration, so no precipitate is formed. I mean, this will be fully reacted until 90% of barium has been precipitated as barium carbonate. 90% I mean, barium is converted to precipitate, so 10% barium is remaining in the solution. So, what is the solubility of calcium carbonate? Under it is given 7 mg to convert into mole concentration so 7 into 10 power minus 3 gram per liter so uh, this is nothing but the ksp of calcium carbonate is s square calcium and carbonate 2 s is there so that s square so solid is given 7 by 100 mole 100 is the molar mass of calcium carbonate 100 is the molar mass of calcium carbonate 40 plus 50 40 plus 60 100 so this is your uh, 40 plus 60 molar mass this is nothing but molar mass you will get here this is the ksp value of calcium carbonate now barium 90 percent precipitate this means that the 10 percent barium is remaining in the solution and that is an equal concentration so we can write here the calcium carbonate start precipitation then solution contains equivalent concentration of calcium and barium that is the a mole per liter so both are a mole so calcium is uh, a mole per liter so we can write here uh, concentration of carbonate is uh, how much uh, this is the ksp value and divide by concentration of a and what is the kp ksp so ksp will be 10 percent of a that is given in the solution 
So 10% means 90% precipitate, 10% remain in the solution of equivalent concentration. So uh, 10 by 100 into A, this is a carbonate concentration already here. So this is the case of the barium carbonate. So in this way, you got the case of the barium carbonate. So this is the barium carbonate is here. So next numerical, H2S is bubble into a 0.2 molarity sodium cyanide solution which is 0.2 molarity containing silver cyanide and cadmium cyanide concentration. These two cells are present in the solution and we are passing H2S is bubbling in this solution. Three concentration with this H2S is passing. Now KSP of a silver sulphide, cadmium sulphide is this and this. So here KSP of silver sulphide is lesser than that of cadmium sulphide and instability constant of silver cyanide and cadmium sulphide minus 20 minus 18 is respectively so which sulphide will precipitate first now see this sulphide will react with the there are three solutions are there so, uh, sodium cyanide silver cyanide and cadmium cyanide their concentration also given so first h2s will dissociate into this and this and this and sodium cyanide will be dissociated into sodium plus and cyanide concentration so initially 0.2, so after splitting it becomes 0.2, 0.2, this becomes your 0. So now silver cyanide will be dissociate. So instability means this is the instability means this will dissociate into silver plus 2 Cn minus. So instability constant will be this into product of this 2 divided by this one. So already the cyanide concentration given here, that is the 0.2 and uh, this is given from the numerical 0.02 molarity. So we'll get and this is the instability constant. So concentration of silver present in the solution is this much. Similarly, we can find the concentration of cadmium. So instability constant is this into this by this. This is given here, this is given here. So this is also given. So concentration of cadmium is this much given. So what is the silver concentration of silver? Yeah, sulfide required. So concentration of sulfide is given here. So concentration of sulfide to press silver sulfide is Silver sulfide with uh, this by this one, so you will get this, this much concentration. And for again cadmium sulfide, because you will get the two sulfide, cadmium sulfide, silver sulfide. So this is the concentration of silver sulfide. And now for the cadmium sulfide, so what is the concentration of sulfide required? So this is the KSP of cadmium sulfide divided by the concentration of cadmium. So on solving, you will get the, this much value. Now if you compare it, this is the 10 to the minus 10, this is 10 to the minus 12. The, the solubility of cadmium sulfide is very less. So definitely if you add more H2S, this will precipitate more. So cadmium will precipitate first.